Hello everybody and welcome and once again thank you for all of you who stuck with me from the beginning. So what else can you build with a T instead of thank you thousand and ten thousand? How about a tricycle? This is a lander, uh, which has three legs, which basically are also wheels, so you can roam from biome to biome. And once you launch it and you have to escape from a planet with a higher gravity, well, then you can drop them. So, yeah, what else could you possibly do with this? You can build a spaceship around it. This here is the TriStar Titanic. And yeah, it weighs a lot. This configuration I think weighs about 7000 tons or something. And I need a lot of mammoth engines and a lot of Kerberdyne S3 tanks. And of course a lot of fuel and a lot of time to get this into orbit because this is moving very slowly even though I have accelerated the video to four times regular speed. But actually I should have accelerated it ten times because then it would have been actually the time that it should take. But due to lag and other things, yeah, this took a while. But nevertheless, we are heading into the skies. That beautiful spire shape is getting in the air. And I wish this would have been that quickly while I was recording it, because it was agony trying to maneuver with that thing due to the performance restrictions of Kerbal Space Program. And now we're trying to do our gravity turn. And we turn too much. This is not looking good. No, 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 no. Abort, abort, abort. Yeah, so this thing seems to have some imbalances, I guess. And yeah, some explosions for your entertainment. I have not counted it, but uh, maybe there are 10,000 explosions in this video. Who knows? Uh, no, they're not. And yeah, that lag was real. Boom! Well, it does explode in almost 10,000 pieces. But... Again! Again, yeah. I have tried it with... Uh, more wings and more control surfaces and a higher altitude yeah i'm going to get up really really high straight up and then begin my gravity turn reminiscent of old times in ksp and yeah well because i don't want to bore you i've already performed all of that and we're now doing our final burn and yeah, for some reason the decouplers won't decouple. You may notice on the left side they're all in one stage, but they all engage one after the other. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, it's a good thing I'm already high up and don't have to be at the merciless hands of Kerbin's atmosphere. So, whoops, something broken? No, okay, my second stage has activated. Woo, look at that, look at all those rhinos firing. And yeah, those will get me into a stable orbit. Yeah, I have to do some circularization burn. Here we go, that's the final stage of the burn. Once again, I've skipped to spare you the boredom of endless burning around the atmosphere because I want to show you what that ship can do. 
because it can do a lot. You may have already noticed the ore refineries on the side. I've got two of those. And I lost my nukes due to staging. Yeah. So once again, I've decoupled it separately from the nukes. So I will activate the nukes later on. Looking good, separation was clean. Now it's time to activate the engines. Aha, uh -huh, so that's it. Interestingly, that things around those things around the nerve engines that uh, protect them, if they are staged, they destroy each other when they're too close to each other. But once you quick reload, then everything is fine and those fairings mysteriously have disappeared. So what do we have here? We have three cargo bays around the core of that ship and each one of them has a lander inside, but not any lander, those are mining vehicles. We also have on those engine cells, we have solar panels and we have radiators, so we can do a continuous burn with those big nukes. So three nuke clusters with seven engines each, that makes 21 nuclear engines. That's a lot of plutonium. Or do they use uranium? Curbanium? Curbium? I don't know. What I do know is that I want to show you one of the landers and yeah, here it is. It's very compact and it is also controlled by a probe core. So this is basically a drone ship powered by one aerospike. It has three landing legs. It has a few solar panels and also a fuel cell for those far away locations where the sun don't shine anymore. Well, it shines all the time, but its rays don't get over there that efficiently. That's the drill for drilling. And yeah, I can get about th uh, 3000 ore units from places like Minmus or other small moons. And the reason being that there's three of those, so I can do this sequentially without, well, having to wait so long for fuel to get up to that big ship. So get back in there. You have shown your stuff, but we want to get along with it. So some fine tuning. As you may have noticed, this is a close fit. I'm using a medium and a small Mark III cargo bay and this fits right into it when you're careful. Of course, once again, the docking alignment indicator mod helps out a lot. So what else do we got? Let's disable crossfeed. Yep, that's always good. One of the big uh, points that needs improving in this game. Look here, we got a docking port for external docking thingies. And we also have some small cargo bays, which include a small resource scanner, because of course we want to gather resources from places that actually have ore, and a small tug with a claw. And that tug would be used too. Yeah, you can see here, those are the elements of that tricycle lander. There's the lander proper, and then there are the tricycle wheels. And I would have used the grabber uh, probe to get those out of the cargo bay and then get it onto the lander. But unfortunately for this video, I could not do that. Yeah. As I mentioned before, this is four times regular speed and it is still uh, still too slow. And yeah, there were a lot of crashes and a corrupt save game. And let's just say things did not work out. But in the end, I just wanted to show you that big old spaceship and what it can do. This is, as I said before, the TriStar Titanic. It can go about anywhere in the known Kerbal universe, basically. 
and then of course gather some resources and go somewhere else. It can carry, well, 16 times 3, a lot of kerbals. And it also has a science lab and of course also a lander, so you can do a lot of stuff with this. And I think it looks good. So the TriStar Titanic will be heading to the moon. And maybe in a future episode I will show you how that lander actually works in real conditions. But for the time being, this short video is just a big thank you to all of you for your loyalty and for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will enjoy my future videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Please share my videos if you care. And have a good night. Goodbye.